Hello again, Onky Tonks. I got time for a walkie talkie, so I thought, why not? I like doing these, I really do. <laughs> some people like them, some don't. Hey ho, that's life. You don't always get what you want, do you? Now, war. Despite being an ex-British army, I don't like war. I'm not looking forward to World War Three. I don't want it to happen. Innocent people will die. And it's going to screw up a lot of people. The only winners are the people making money out of it. There's people making a shitload of money at the moment from the Ukraine-Russian war. That's going to be going on for a while. There could have been peace talks near the beginning. According to Putin, he wanted peace talks and they were going to take place. But Boris Johnson stuck his oar in, a spanner in the works, and made sure it's continued. Guy Verhoeftwatt. The insane demon headmaster looking guy in the EU. He's always banging on about the EU sending more armaments and money to the Ukraine. It's all about money, profit. War has been about profit for quite a while now. That's how the Rothschilds made their money, I reckon. Lending money to countries to arm themselves. They've done it since the Napoleonic Wars. That's why they were so rich. They got two houses around uh, around here, these parts. you got Wadston and you got one near Leighton Buzzard. Grand houses, very wealthy, very famous people. Made their money through the deaths and misery of others and war. How can you look yourself in the mirror making money like that? I don't know. But war isn't fun, take it from me. I've been in one. <laughs> uh, any soldier that tells you that war is good, they enjoyed it, they enjoyed killing. They're mental or they're lying. They really are. There's nothing good. It's like old people. I've had uh, a spate of old people recently I talk to. And they say to me, one in particular, she says to me, don't get old. It's not fun. War is exactly the same thing. You may think growing old is uh, just time to yourself, relaxing. But no, you just, you sleep, you can't walk anywhere, you shit yourself and you're always in pain. That's what this old lady told me. And it's exactly the same during war. It's not a comfortable time. You've got somebody somewhere looking to kill you and you have to make some poor bastard die for his. It's no fun, it really isn't. Don't get me wrong, when I joined the army, it was to escape poverty, as some of you know. But if the time did come, then I'd have gladly fought on this soil or British territory to defend it. It was my job. I took that job seriously. I really did. So anyway, wars are coming. I reckon World War Three is just around the corner. Iran sent a couple of ICBMs and a couple of hundred drones towards Israel. I think about two hit home. I think they were made in China. But most of them were shot down by the RAF and the Iron Dome, which made me think, does Britain have an Iron Dome? Have we got something like that? Or just a few Typhoon jets? What the hell have we got to stop that? I've never heard talk of it or anything. If Russia or anyone wanted to send a couple of hundred missiles our way, can we stop them? Do we have an Iron Dome? I don't know. I think we're all screwed, aren't we? I think we really are. Nobody's bothered about peace talks with Iran and Israel either, are they? Biden has said he won't interfere if uh, Iran retaliate to whatever Israel has got planned, and that's coming. Everyone is waiting with bated breath for Israel's response to that missile attack the other day. I reckon it's going to be huge. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But Israel doesn't take shit from anyone, do they? <laughs> they really don't. Oh, God. What times we live in. I think we are living in more dangerous times now. We are in more danger of a nuclear war, a nuclear holocaust now, because somebody somewhere wants it to happen to make money. Unlike the 80s. If you grew up in the 80s like me, then it was the Cold War. It was the height of the Cold War, wasn't it? Russia and the US, will they, wouldn't they? We were always told that Russia were the aggressors, etc. But I don't think we were ever told the truth by the mainstream media. And they never will tell us. Like I said, back then, I don't think anybody wanted a war, did they? A war 
I think a Cold War was more lucrative than an actual war, whereas now I think an actual war is more lucrative than uh, decades old stalemates like it was back then. That's just my theory though, looking at what's happening. Crazy times indeed, it really is crazy times. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Oh, before I go, that Sydney video, yeah, I did take it down. The reason being, <laughs> all right, I did say it was then, but when things like that happen, they're the usual dangerous fuckwits that do that kind of thing, aren't they? So it's easy to jump to conclusions. And how the hell did the police and the mainstream media find out so much about him anyway? And the guy videoed in the mall looks nothing like the guy they're accusing. Looks nothing like him whatsoever. So that's a bit of a mystery. So my video's private, and when it all comes out, and what I suspect he is, is laid out, then I shall put it public again. So I, I reckon I'm kind of right still. <laughs> I reckon I'm kind of right. If you know, you know. If you understand, you understand. But that's that. Right, I'm off. I'm sure it'll be a, a lovely bloody war when it happens, and I think it is going to happen. It really is. Mark my words. I don't mean to be a doomsayer. To make people miserable, but read it, folks. Read it. Then again, I'm the same guy who said that Putin wouldn't invade Ukraine, didn't I, sir? I'm only you. And Welsh. And that's that. Thanks for watching. I'm Paz49. And until the next time, Roger Trout.